Oh, it is so good! It's so good! <laughs> After a trigger point for Infraspin Artists. Yeah. For one of your <laughs> This does not look okay. I need to fix my back. As you can imagine with training, deadlifts, squats, all that tension on your back, it accumulates, so we're gonna go see Max. Again. Again. But I'm a big boy. Let's do it. Back. Subscapular, we can do cupping. That would be amazing. After, after I had that experience, it was like my feet feel much better. Okay. Um, it, if they feel like they're, they're not tense at all. Okay, good. So they feel like so much better. And I didn't think they could feel better than before. Okay. So now I'm gonna fix wow, it. Wow, that is awkward! Ah! Ooh. But um, yeah, so like those feel great, but my back, especially the subscapular, okay. it feels more tender than it was the last time I saw it. It was like pretty tender. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so when you say subscap, do you mean up here? Yeah, like, oh, okay, cool. it's this point here, right? That okay. point, you, you'll so touch like, it and you'll tell me. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And yeah. you didn't get as any specific injury or anything like that, huh? No, 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 no specific injury. It, it just gets, it gets tender, and it's always been like that. I, it could be my, the way I lived. Okay. Let's quickly do a few tests just to make okay. sure it's nothing okay. major. And you feel the pain like here? You see, once you start pressing it, I, I feel it gives me that, okay. that relax. Yes. Relax. Okay. relax it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When, I do, when I do that, I feel okay. I've okay. been doing this like, and it feels great whenever okay. I do that. Hand behind your back for me. Okay. okay, push my hand away. Any pain? No. Ooh, that, it hurt right after when right I did these things. Yeah. Like this for me. Okay, pushing up. Up, 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 up. Any pain? I, f I just feel that now from when I when I did that with you. Thumbs down for me. So push up for me. Any pain? No pain. Like this for me. Okay, so now you're gonna push up for me. Any pain? Mm -mm. In for me. Any pain? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. But so in there. Whoa! Yeah, already. Wow. Ooh, oh my gosh. Do you, do you, yeah, it is. Yeah. So if we did need all that, ooh, ooh, we would get some activity ooh, there. Mr. I would have been in tears. I know, I know. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm scared. That, what it was pressing there, painful. And like, I tend to fatigue earlier with my back workouts because of that muscle. It's, it's part of your rotator cuff, so it's quite easy to injure it doing push any push movements and as you're seeing the warm-up we're doing I'm pretty sure it was the test rotator cuff muscles okay so we're just gonna warm all the muscles up and everything yeah there I yeah um. You sure you don't want to do oh. needles, eh? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Something you don't feel until it's like pressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like a common site of a trigger point for infraspinatus. Yeah. One of your rotator cuffs. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you okay? I'm good, I'm good. This one might make me cry, no cap. Oh, oh, oh. Do you ever feel, does it feel painful when you go back? Like when you take yeah. your elbow back? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you feel how tight this is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that tickles me. Very sore in there. <laughs> yeah, that this I can see it. Yeah, he's he's feeling it. 
Yeah, as I said on myself, this is my favorite muscle to get released. Bro, is lat. I am in pain, but it is. Oh, it is so good. It's so good. <laughs> ah. Yo. Again, like this is supposed to be like this is my personal session, but I also feel like a lot of people deal with these issues. So more so to be educational and at the same time Ooh, that feel weird. It looks like an alien. <laughs> yeah. How does it feel? It feels so weird, bro. Oh my God, it feels so like very weird. If well, it feels like a girl trying to give you a hickey. No, it's like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. That feels very weird, but very nice. I will not lie. Yeah, so this is like to try bring some blood into the muscle. Uh, this is all in theory. Not a lot has been proven. Yo, check out my legs, bro. I got goosebumps. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Um, and also, another thing what this does is that, so when people massage, it's all compression, compression, compression. Yeah. And this obviously lifts the tissue apart. Yeah. So it like lifts, it pulls apart all those adhesions mm -hmm. in, in the tissue in theory. Mm -hmm. That's, um, as I said, it's not a lot of research on it. That feels really cool. It feels like releasing yeah. when you, when you, when you move up and down and now it just feels like, yeah, it is, it's like getting warm in the area that it's on. I'm just quickly going to work this in for Spinatus. So, I don't know if you can feel it like a crack, I sort can. of crackling. I can. So that's when you know you're sort of over a tissue that's a little bit unhappy. And some people do it with fire, is it? I mean, I get the concept of how they do it. Yeah, so, so with the fire cupping, um, the only problem with that is that you can't control the amount of suction. So, so like with uh -huh. this, I can yes, make it work yes. okay. bigger, I can make it less. Okay. Or if I see you reacting badly, I can mm -hmm. release it quickly. I can either put more very easily. Like if I want this one more, I literally just go boom and it's more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? that makes sense. Um, so with the fire, there's no control. Mm -hmm. And that is the traditional way. So some people prefer that. Okay. I'm going to be 100% serious with you. Mm -hmm. This does not look okay. Yo, it feels like, it feels warm on those specific areas. Yeah. It feels warm. Yeah, you look like you're acting quite nicely. Sir, you have holes that look it, it feels it, weird, this, this really freaks some people out. Like kind of graze you. Um, like the Graston therapy. Yes, Graston, Graston therapy. Tools. So these ones won't bruise. Yeah, just nice. nice. It's generally the smaller cups that bruise. Bigger cups. So these are both bruised here. Yeah. So you're gonna have a nice cup mark. So that will last for about five days-ish, like a normal bruise, pretty much. So it's just like burst capillaries and stuff like that. But these ones should all be fine. So it's like very weird. I don't know if you can feel, but there's like te texture. Mm -hmm. Over. Okay, give a, give a move around. Yeah, it feels nice. Feels nice. Yeah, yeah. left overhead. It should feel like you have a lot more range. Yeah. Overhead, like a lot more unlocked. Yeah, it does. You can, you can hear like the crack slightly. Like it, it feels like it's going to be better tomorrow. Yeah. So it, it, that section where it bruised on both sides, it might feel a little bit tight mm -hmm. for one or two days. Yeah. Just like a normal bruise. Yeah. Like, you know, if you get knocked on the leg, like if you get knocked on the quad, anything like that, you feel yeah. like it's not bad. You can still jump, you can still. 
I mean, you've trained today, yeah. so take the rest of the day off, mm -hmm. chill, and then you can start training again. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Max. Sure. Guys, again, if you want to check Max out in the description, hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.